In business, the federal government is seeking the assistance of the World Bank to provide funding worth $50 million to support state government for the installation of solar plant pilots and infrastructure upgrades. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy, Wale Edong, spoke on the initiative when they met with World Bank delegates in Abuja. The minister said the program would ensure the rollout of 3.5 million prepaid meters to enhance power distribution and support tariff frameworks, market reforms, and co-financing the transmission company of Nigeria's performance improvement plan. And I am joined by President Nigeria Consumer Protection Network, Kunle Olubio, to talk about this. Good afternoon. Glad to have you join me. Okay, seems uh, my guest is having a hard time connecting with me. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you, can you hear me? Loud and clear, I can hear you. So let me kick off by okay. asking, what do you make of this fresh move by the federal government seeking $50 million loan from the World Bank to improve the country's power sector? I mean, having in mind past borrowings haven't yielded positive results. Well, particularly, I, I, I'm just uh, lis listening to the component of the funding of uh, the company of Nigeria. So some of us, we have reservations, but I haven't okay. said that. We, we lost you for military. a bit there. If you can take your thoughts again. Yeah, uh, talking about the funding from World Bank is just uh, expected to be complementary to uh, the domestic uh, budget uh, funding for the power sector. Uh, as you are aware, they are very recently the National Assembly approved um, a, a funding window for the metering, which is uh, close to about uh, six to seven hundred fifty billion naira. And so our major concern is that lots of money have been uh, raised in the past for the purposes of funding of the power uh, sector. And uh, the question now that, is, that readily comes to mind is that such funding should not be structured as a largesse. Uh, there should be uh, a model uh, for cost recovery of such investment. Because at the end of the day, uh, the body is going to be transferred to the electricity market. And so moving forward, there's nothing bad in securing uh, evolving fund, but uh, such money, uh, should, the, the meters that will come in uh, bulk buying from original equipment manufacturer should come at a lesser price because you can get from the shelf international market uh, a three-phase meter for between 50 to 70 or 100 dollars at maximum mm. and if you take that by the uh, exchange rate you are going to have like about 15,000 uh if i mean one around 50,000 if i'm right for a three-phase meter no, and the three-phase meter, three yes. meter at the moment is selling for 200 and, uh, 220 thousand uh, dollar i mean naira uh, per three-phase meter and the vendors or the meter assembling company, they are equally still asking for 360000 If I may so come in there. Such mm. meter if that I may. Funded should not be given for free, but it should come as a, at, at a relatively reasonable and competitive price. You, if and I may come in there. pay for such uh, loan, uh, the distribution company should refund us by way of energy token. They, we, we, we Mr. Olubio, if I may come in there, apologies for botting in. You've raised a number of cogent points. But then, what would you say is the reason the sector has not performed optimally despite privatization? What needs to be done? Yes. Um, in the past, we've uh, had the issue of uh, uh, conflict of interest, and uh, we completely. Uh, definition of weakness of regulatory ecosystem. Uh, there was a competition between the BPE and NEC without a clear court direction. The BPE incursion into post-privatization regulations similarly, which was not obtainable in the telecom sector, created a role for BPE being regulator in the daytime and uh, contractors uh, uh, at night. That power has been taken back to Ministry of Finance Incorporated. Now we now have a clear court direction 
and uh, NEC is now in charge. Regulation now, uh, depth of uh, monitoring and evaluation has been the bane. If you discuss from here to tomorrow, the bane of it has been a uh, uh, serious or huge gap in regulatory ecosystem. That has been the major. Talk about liquidity. Talk about uh, non uh, adherence to service level agreement. Talk about uh, in discipline, in fiscal and governance structure. It's all boiled down to uh, depth of regulatory uh, assertiveness. But now, with the passage of Electricity Act, uh, NEC have been further strengthened, and we are beginning to see a paradigm shift in that direction. And that's but a fine place to, to leave it. I'm pressed for time. Apologies for butting in, but thank you so much for your perspective on the news. Kunle Olubiyo, President, Nigeria Consumer Protection. Many thanks once again.